everyone and welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video and I'm going to be coloring this drawing that I just made off camera and so let's get started. This is what I was drawing off camera and I got it from the idea of my friend. She drew a picture that was like this but it had houses in the background not across the sky. And so I'm going to just be coloring it so that it's not as blank as it was before. The things I am using are some crayons, and this is a really pretty drawing like this. But inside are a few little crayons that I have. I don't have that many coloring supplies, but yeah. And I have some coloring pencils that I will also be using. And I will also be using these double ended markers, just a few because some of them have like dried out. So on this side over here, I have my markers and my crayons, and this here is where the drawing is going to be. So I am going to start with this pale color here. So I'm starting with this peachy color for her skin, and this is the crayon that I'm going to use. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see. And I'm going to just start to color in her skin tone. And I'm just going to, while coloring, I'm just going to talk about the colors and things like that. Something that I was really scared that would happen with this drawing was that um, I would start to smudge a few things. And I didn't want that to happen because I was coloring, I mean, I was doing my line art with a pen. And pens um, tend to smudge a lot if you don't let them set just for like a few seconds. And I was scared that, because I went over my line out pretty fast, and I was scared that after erasing all the pencil lines, I would also start to smudge some of the, um, some of my pencil, I mean some of my line, some of my line art. So that's just like the, yeah, now I'm going to use um, my black coloring pencil here, this right here, and I'm going to do this so that I can do her leggings, because I want her to have like on some black leggings, and I'm just going to go ahead and color those in. No, I went past the line. That's okay, we could just make this leg a little thicker. Yeah, that looks... And uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to be using this yellow marker. I'm going to be using the fine tip to color in her little button parts. And just so that you guys can see, this does not work as well, but it's kind of showing up, so I'm okay with it. And I'm also going to do the rims of her um, headphones that she's wearing. Then, with this pretty color here, I'm going to be doing the inside of her um, headphones and the top part there. Now I'm going to take my black coloring pencil again and I'm going to lightly color in her coats because I want it to be a gray color. I don't have a gray coloring pencil nor a gray crayon and I have a gray marker but it doesn't really work as well so I'm just going to go ahead and lightly color it in making it darker as I go and that's the coat part and I actually have to color in okay so that is her coat and I haven't really thought of a color for the shoes I think I'm just going to do it um black like her leggings because I like Dark now I'm going to use this turquoise color to color in the tree, and then I'm going to go over it with some green as well. And now I'm just going to color in the entire Frosty's Cafe. Here I'm just using this apricot color to color the top of the Frosty's Cafe, and then um, I'm going to color around the edges with this. Okay, here it is, and... Just finishing up a few little parts there. To make it like it was cold out, so I'm going to lightly color in the windows with this light blue. 
And lastly, I am going to color in the street parts there. So we are done with this drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to GT Collection 76 and my mother's channel, Uniquely Liberated. And I love you. Bye-bye.